Hello everyone on YouTube. As you can see, I am um, in a, uh, no, I'm not on a spaceship. I have aluminum behind me. It's insulation. I am an avid RVer. It is outside minus 25, 27, something crazy. Celsius, Celsius, below zero. Uh, you know that, that trick where you throw water in the air and it's turns to snow, uh, hot water turns to snow. Yes, you can do that too. No, I don't want to. Um, so what's going on? Uh, what's going on is this is the launch. This is the first video of uh, an RV show. Um, at this point, the title is Miss Adventure because uh, I like to play with words. So misadventure is what happens sometimes and and miss adventure. <laughs> That's the original intent. Um, also I'm turning 50 in uh, 30 days. Oh my gosh, I don't feel it. I'm told I don't look it, but people lie sometimes. Um, so a lot is going on. And uh, I have a lot of things going on, which I'll be covering in other videos, which is the reason for this particular video is that other than introduction, you may notice me in other videos. And you're like, is that the same chick? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, I decided that I'm going to be uh, splitting up the videos because the markets are different. You know, what is good for children is not necessarily uh, good for adults and vice versa. I'm a multimedia artist and uh, with a business and technology background. Um, that is how I can put it in one sentence. So I do a lot of things because I can, because I choose to, because life is short. And in order to be able to afford that, I do it in a motorhome. And uh, it's a 25 foot class C, it's a Ford Econoline. And as you can tell behind me, the I've painted the interior. Oh, wait till you see the exterior. <laughs> Everybody knows it's mine. And um, everybody knows it's mine. And uh, but I'm looking inside because it still needs work, and it's clutter, clutter. Didn't make my bed, clutter. So um, and I like to tour people's RVs. So it's it's far from perfect. Uh, the problem is that as you can see behind me, um, you can paint it and make it pretty, and then you have to add insulation. I decided to do the RV show because um, I felt I had something to contribute and that was one of my requirements. If I didn't have anything new or different to contribute, uh, we would not be here uh, having this, uh, this exchange and I'm hoping it's a positive exchange in the future, um, but where I'm sharing with you. and. Uh, why so many RV shows on, or, or RV channels? And the reason is because sometimes it's kind of lonely <laughs> and we feel a kinship with other people throughout the country that are RVing. Um, so it's kind of fun to share and say, oh, look what I did, you know. Um, you'll notice a few things. You'll notice it's not Christmas, but I have Christmas lights up. What's up with that? So I light my RV with LED lights and the LED lights are battery operated, they're interior exterior LED lights and they're strung up on all of the cabinets and it looks festive and fun and they don't get in the way, I mean I just, you know, pull it down, it's temporary uh, the way it's set up. and it lights up the motorhome and I just push a button and it lights up. Um, so 
I'm going to probably get another set and have it so that from the driver's seat I can push a button and go in and then from the um, from the the bed because I do sleep on in the loft and I'm a big girl and I sleep in the loft um, why <laughs> warm air rises just remember that um, so uh, that I have good lighting and and I have good lighting right now it just not reading worthy lighting uh, and I have other lights for that as well. So the key to uh, having a, a good light is, um, and and to get and to get rid of that that fear in the pit of your stomach that you might fail, is to have a backup plan. And our being permits you to do that. Plus. Uh, in theory, you could drive south <laughs> when it's cold outside. Um, we have something called Rocky Mountains that keep me from going west. I saw the show. It did not end well. Um, this RV, I paid $500 for it. So for that price, if you assume pretty much everything's wrong with it, you're probably right. Um, so I barter web design services for mechanical work with mechanics who would not have bought the service anyway, and they're happy to get um, something that they feel um, they can trade value for value. And so I've had the um, I've had a new carburetor, a new uh, oil pump spark plugs, spark plug wires, um, shocks, struts, I think my struts as well, a tire, muffler, muffler extension, um, and I've had um, the, in the front, in the, under the hood, the house battery rewired, like all of that rewired with better gauge wire and uh, a breakers put in because I have burnt out my wires. So that's a lot of work. I still, I'm thinking I have a fuel pump issue. So it still runs, but it's costing me gas. So I don't, I don't really drive it much. And um, so my next trade is gonna be all things fuel. Fuel pump, fuel filter, um, uh, check my fuel line and, uh, and then inspect my transmission uh, because that also is a, a thing of worry. And then another barter is going to be my roof. I have, of course, of course, I have roof leaks. It's a 77. Of course I'm going to have a roof leak. <sighs> it cries. That's how <laughs> the RV is crying. Um, so I'll have my roof, that's spring work, replaced um, or pulled up and whatever needs fixing fixed um, and, uh, the, and then insulated and um, then, look, you know, I'm looking up because, <laughs> um, and then uh, my front window needs replacing it. There's cracks all over. It's making me nervous. And then there's a, a loft window that's cracked. So get all those things replaced. And um, um, and there's, you know, and then, then, then <laughs> I have... Um, a, uh, uh, I have uh, trust issues, so my I've never trusted the water, you know, nor the gas, uh, like the propane gas lines. Never trusted them. I've owned three RVs and have never used the water, uh, and have never used the the propane gas. So 
So instead, I have a little butane, like a little, little uh, camping stove, and I have the little the pump action uh, five gallon water tank. And you're going to say, but why? Because inevitably in 40 years, there's a high likelihood that somebody forgot to winterize it. There's mold in it, um, or which means it means cleaning. But um, in Alberta, we get summer for three months a year. Uh, it's hot one day. It freezes the next, you know, and uh, um, the propane, um, there's an incredible number of fires, RV fires, that make me very, very nervous, and uh, so um, I'm taking my chances, and then the question is, well, how do you heat it, and uh, I use two uh, ways and then I have backups. So one way is with a propane heater, the buddy heater, it's a single propane heater, which I think is not adequate. <laughs> I need a, a dual uh, because it's competing with the airflow from the front of the cab. So usually I cover it up. And, uh, uh, but I'm trying to defrost my windows. <laughs> And it's not working, it's that cold. So hold on. Oh. And uh, um, so, so I have the buddy heater and then I have, uh, I use solar thermal heat. Bye, bye solar thermal heat. So my windows, um, I don't know if I can show you here. So I have flaps on this side. I don't have flaps on the other side. And I have bubble wrap against the window on the inside. Then, uh, and that worked really well. And I used uh, double-sided tape on the metal back when it was warm. <laughs> then, I added bubble wrap, another layer, big bubbles, another layer, this time over the whole thing, including the frames, the metal frames, just right over it. Forget interior decorating, you can see right here. And by then, uh, by then the bubble wrap was, you know, you can't stick to anything. I don't care what they tell you. Um, once it gets cold, nothing sticks. So I used push pins. Not good, <laughs> but I, it works. So, um, so all my windows have two layers of bubble wrap. And then I got, I tried different things, but what worked the best was black curtains. And the black curtains are, um, I don't know if you could see it. So they're on the outside, like, so, so it's bubble wrap, bubble wrap, black curtain, and then insulation. Why? Black attracts the sun, and so when there is sunlight, it, it, uh, the warmth from the sun enters the RV, plus I have natural light. and. Uh, that seems to be working. That's not my problem. My problem is the floor. Uh, it, it's like air conditioning. And uh, I'll have to lift my feet. So it's like air conditioning. And I have uh, the foam pad. Then I have uh, industrial carpeting. But um, you know, if you have airflow coming in, you have airflow coming in, and you just work with that. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. And as you can tell, the light is uh, is uh, this is not high quality. This is reality, folks. This is real. This is um, 
Okay, and it's haunted. But, you know, it was cheap. <laughs> it was, it was, it, it was, um, and, uh, although the spirit has not hung around lately, so we're doing good. Um, but occasionally, you know, uh, there's a rebellion. <laughs> um, so I forgot to mention I'm also a medium. And, uh, so if you see anything happening behind me, mention it. Um, uh, luckily Halloween's not for another nine months, <laughs> ten months, no, eight months, something like that. So, uh, the sun is setting and I'm about to make we make dinner and uh, I have a meeting that I was put off for two hours and the reason I haven't done this video before is everything freezes my battery freezes my all my batteries freeze my laptop freezes it's, it's cold so when do I turn 50 Oh, you're gonna love this Valentine's Day yes um, so I'll be turning 50 on Valentine's Day and uh, so I decided to do 50 for 50 and there's 50 things that I'm going to accomplish some are a surprise uh, for uh, while I'm 50 because I'll be 50 the whole whole year might as well and uh, so um, I'm not going to mention what it is until after and 50 for 50 is going to be its own channel uh, just because um, it can be and then I'll just kind of cross mention it and uh, okay well that's it and uh, as you can tell the Sun is setting I'm uh, sitting in the dark. It's not actually really dark, but my feet are cold, and I have uh, I have to put on a second layer of socks and my winter coat and uh, uh, finish up uh, a little bit before uh, I go. And uh, um, when it's this cold, it's going to be minus 30, and and I'm urban camping. One of the things I do. Um, is I go to McDonald's <laughs> I cheat I go to McDonald's and I bring my laptop and I work all night long and then I sleep during the day when it's warmer and that seems to work although I have a meeting at 630 and then uh, that'll be an hour or so and luckily it shares the same common area as McDonald's uh, you know, for the price of a cup of coffee, um, I'm working on, uh, some certifications and finishing up some books that I'm writing, um, and the wi is better, and I'm on first name basis with the staff, so it is what it is. You have a safe day, and, uh, if you're like me, hunkering down, Hang in there. Cheers.